The following program has been made possible by the friends and partners of Christ for All Nations. Coming up on Christ for All Nations. I got a call from my secretary telling me that our tent was destroyed in a storm. And then a prophecy came. And the Lord was saying, henceforth, our canopy will be the glory of God and the mast, the praises of his people. Everybody. Welcome to another broadcast of Christ for All Nations. I'm Daniel Kalenda, and we're going to have a wonderful time together today. I just know that you're going to be blessed and built up in your faith. I have a very special guest with me here today I'm going to introduce to you in just a moment. At the end of the broadcast, I'm going to be telling you about some special events coming up that I hope you can be a part of. Very exciting news. But also, I want to encourage you right now at the top of the broadcast to get in touch with us. Because at the end of the show today, we are going to be taking your prayer requests and praying for them. And I believe that the Lord is going to touch and heal and provide and answer prayer according to his riches and glory. And I, I know that you will be mightily blessed. So go ahead and use that information that's there on your screen. Get in touch with us and let us know how we can stand in agreement with you today in prayer in Jesus name. Now, it is a tremendous joy and a tremendous honor for me to introduce you to one of my heroes in the faith. He's been more than just uh, a leader to me. He's been a spiritual father to me. And uh, today I lead the ministry of Christ for all nations, which he started 40 years ago as a German missionary working in the Southern African nation of Lesotho. The Lord blessed him and over the course of his ministry was able to lead almost 74 million people around the world to Christ. It's an absolutely extraordinary story. I, it's something like reading the book of Acts. And today, we're going to talk a little bit about that story, and you're going to get to hear it straight from his mouth. Evangelist Bonke, thank yeah. you so much thank for you, joining Daniel. me here on the show today. So, as we get into this book, you know, I, I said to you last time we talked about this, my challenge when it comes to this book and when it comes to your story is knowing where to begin. Yeah. Because it's such an amazing story. But I wonder if you'd tell us a little bit about the tent, because something amazing happened with that tent. You built what was, at the time, the world's largest tent. Yes. It was actually in the Guinness Book of World Records. Yes. And then something unforeseen happened. Could you tell us about that? Yes, uh, something uh, quite catastrophic. <laughs> something catastrophic happened. Um, we had built this tent seating 34,000 people. It was a tension structure. It was made of uh, uh, fiberglass material, something absolutely new at that time. And uh, 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 then the, the day came to dedicate it. When would this have been? That was, was in 1984, okay. in February 1984, to be exact, the 17th <laughs> of February wow. 1984. And uh, um, we had prepared everything well. Uh, the people came, um, although the tent only sat 34,000 people, we had about 50,000 people there. Wow. You know, all the special guests, they came from, uh, in part, from across the world. It was uh, very, very wonderful. And I wanted to preach the gospel there. I said, the first dedication service, I want to have a harvest of souls. Right. And uh, I preached the gospel and about 5,000 people got saved. And in those days, that was something really extraordinary. I was so glad. Uh, I thought instead of blowing bugles and praising people, we were all praising the Lord and his saving grace. After we had the crusade there in Soweto, in that new tent, we had decided to go to Cape, to Cape Town. 
uh, uh, for uh, the next crusade the following year uh, in a place called Valhalla Park, just outside of Cape Town, a very rough area. Uh, I was told that uh, it, 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 there were murders all the time. Some people called that area. Uh, instead of Valhalla Park, they called it Kill Me Quick. Wow. And, and we pitched the tent right there. I said, where, the, where, where we find the biggest darkness, the light will shine, shine brightest. Mm. The churches cooperated. It was all wonderful. And I, with my wife, went to uh, India, to Calcutta, to, uh, to preach the gospel there while they built up the tent. While I was in Calcutta, the Holy Spirit spoke to me when I prayed and told me that the tent is destroyed, was destroyed in Cape Town. Wow. I said to my wife, I said, you know, the Holy Spirit spoke to me, the tent is destroyed. Ah, she said, how can this be? Uh, uh, your secretary would have called you. There was no call, not for the first day, not for the second day, but the third day. I got a call from my secretary uh, in Johannesburg, South Africa, telling me that two days ago our tent was destroyed in a storm. Wow. Uh, and it is so catastrophic, she says it was raining and storming. The team was kneeling in the mud and was crying out to God. She said it was like a terrible, terrible funeral. Wow. The tent is destroyed. Uh, and I must say, I didn't feel any grief in my heart. I felt no grief in my heart. And I was challenged by that. I said to my wife, I'm worried. She said, why are you worried? I said, I'm worried because I'm not worried. Wow. Uh, uh, it's somehow God is in this thing. Um, I went from India back to South Africa. I flew right to Cape Town. I saw the catastrophe. The ten pieces had been had been re been removed. There were only those huge masts, and uh, then a prophecy came, a wonderful prophecy, and the Lord was saying that um, henceforth our canopy will be the glory of God. And the masts shall be the praises of his people. Um, I grabbed that prophecy and I realized that God had lifted the lid from the pot to make room for something much, much bigger. And we decided to have our crusade there without the roof and trust God for good weather. And this is exactly what happened. Our crusade went on, and instead of having 34,000 people, for the first time in my life, I preached to a crowd of 75,000 people. Wow. Miracles happened everywhere. Deliverances happened everywhere. It was absolutely awesome. And since that day, Daniel, I have been traveling with that canopy of God's glory, that wonderful tent, which was much cheaper to transport yeah. and much quicker to, to erect. Yeah. We are still traveling with the canopy of the glory of God. That was what happened with the tent. And from that day, we never looked back to the tent because uh, we never needed it anymore. The crowds became too big. You outgrew it. We had outgrown it just at the drop of a hat wow. by the grace of God and upon his word. Imagine, imagine a church that spends years building a new building and the second service, they've already outgrown it. <laughs> I mean, that's essentially what happened. Yes. It's almost as though God took the lid off. Yes, yes, you yes. Know? And, and actually, I mean, I'm a part of this now too. I can tell you that would have been a hindrance if we'd had to set up a tent every time. Because now we're doing six or seven or eight of these things a year. Now people said to me, uh, you've been five years on this tent. How can you just now say you, you don't need it anymore? You know, I said to them, 
I, my calling is not to display the latest ten technology yeah. in Africa. My work is for souls to be saved. We are after souls, and the more souls we reach, the better. The tent was just the jumping board into a calling that we would not have reached otherwise. And it's that relentless pursuit of souls that has, that has led you from Cape Town to Cairo oh, and absolutely. all over the world preaching absolutely. the gospel, seeing literally millions upon millions of people accept Christ. My friend, listen, we are literally living in the greatest days of harvest in the history of the world. And we have, as a ministry, Christ for All Nations, we have seen what God has done. And it is absolutely astounding. I want to give you just a little bit of a glimpse into the origins of, of what God did through this ministry. And you're going to see some of these miraculous things. Watch this. Africa. It has been called the Dark Continent, a land of mystery, beauty, and natural wonders. From the colossal pyramids of Giza to the pristine shores of Cape Town to the vast plains of the Serengeti, Africa holds some of mankind's richest treasures. But under its rustic beauty, Africa's history has been plagued by tragedy and human suffering. A long tradition of animism, voodoo, and witchcraft have produced paralyzing fear in the souls of many of Africa's people for generations. Widespread health problems, crushing poverty, false religions, and brutal political dictators have only increased the heavy burden. But right now, in the heart of this great continent, there is a powerful move of God's spirit that is changing the face of Africa. It is breaking the chains on people's lives renewing the hearts of its people, and launching a revolution of love in the marvelous name of Jesus Christ. The gospel is being preached with power. Millions of souls are being saved, and the sick are being healed in astonishing numbers. This is the great outpouring of God's Holy Spirit. And at the center of this mighty move of God, you will find a thriving and dynamic ministry called Christ for All Nations. We all need forgiveness. In the mighty name of Jesus. There is one reason that you will receive healing tonight. And it's because of that precious, precious, precious blood of Jesus. Evangelists Reinhard Bonnke and Daniel Kalenda are two of God's gospel agents in this amazing spiritual revolution. In a single decade, beginning in the year 2000, over 55 million people made a decision to become followers of Jesus in one of Christ for All Nations' massive open-air campaigns throughout Africa. Accompanying this deluge of salvation were miraculous healings, deliverances, and baptisms into the Holy Spirit too great to count. I want you to bring all your amulets and all the fetishes and throw it into the drum tomorrow and we will burn it with fire and no devil will ever cross the threshold of the home again. You shall not die before your time, but you will live in Jesus' name. While the fire of the Holy Spirit is fresh and burning brightly today in Africa, the beginnings of this move of God stretch back nearly 40 years. It was then Pastor Reinhard Bonnke, a young, dedicated minister from Germany, was burning with a passion to win Africa for Jesus. But he encountered frustrating difficulties in the early years that tested his resolve and calling. One night, something happened that radically changed everything. I had a dream, but it was a divine dream. I saw the map of Africa, the whole continent, getting washed in the redeeming blood of Jesus Christ. And I heard an awesome voice that penetrated my bone and my marrow, crying, Africa shall be saved. I woke up to four consecutive nights again and again. I heard that same voice and then I began to repeat these words, Africa shall be saved. By faith, Reinhard Bonnke launched the ministry of Christ for All Nations and began to preach across the African continent. As the crowds grew, he set out to build the largest tent in the world, listed in the Guinness Book of World Records. 
But soon the crowds became larger than any tent could ever hold. So under the open African sky, Evangelist Bonke preached to crowds of up to 1.6 million people in a single service. As he declared God's love, men, women, and children accepted Jesus as their Savior and Lord, and amazing miracles followed. Who else? Were you blind and received the sight? Came up. He's a Muslim. Three years he was blind, but now he can see. Can you see me, sir? Do what I do. Do what I do. Hey, up and there, Baba. Even though blind eyes have opened, the lame have walked and the deaf now hear, Evangelist Bonke has never claimed to be a healer. He attributes every miracle to the sovereign work of Jesus Christ and the outpouring of his Holy Spirit. Today, Reinhard Bonke and Daniel Kalenda are seeing Jesus do even greater works as they serve together in fulfilling the vision of Africa saved from Cape Town to Cairo. Pastor Bonke, even as I watch that and I see those sights, I'm itching yes. to get back to Africa. And the same with me, I'm scratching. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is it in you, for yourself, what can you say is the, is the impetus for this driving burden to see people one to Jesus? Where does that come from? It's the Holy Spirit. I'm absolutely sure. It's, that, it's the, 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 the fire of the Holy Spirit. It's not just heat, but it is fervency. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, sometimes I came home from a crusade like that physically totally exhausted because it's a lot of work. Yeah. And I said to my wife, I think I'm going to sleep a whole week. <laughs> but after two days, I want to go again <laughs> because I, I, I feel the gospel must be preached and I will preach it. And I see such glorious results. And, and I want to win more and more and more for Jesus. You know what I mean, yeah. because we are in the same boat. Yeah. Would you agree that this is a special time in history for the harvest? Oh, absolutely. I believe we are part of the end time harvest. Jesus is coming soon. And that's why we see such awesome crowds. This, this is not a matter of cause. Such huge, huge crowds of hungry people wanting to hear the word of God. And, and they are like fledglings in a nest. You know, they can't get enough, actually. The truth is, my friend, we are living in the greatest days of harvest in the history of the world. And we have got to seize this opportunity of a lifetime for Calvary's sake. And, you know, that's why we are compelled to go. That's why this whole ministry operates with such a sense of urgency every month, risking it all for the sake of the harvest. And I want to invite you to join with us because one day, my friend, together we're going to stand before the throne of God. And I want you to share in this amazing opportunity to hear those words from the Master, well done, good and faithful servant. Here's how you can join and become a partner with the ministry of Christ for All Nations. Evangelist Reinhard Bonnke has preached the gospel across Africa, seeing millions come to Christ in the largest gatherings of humanity in history. Now you can hear how it happened in his own words. Living a life of fire is a true-to-life adventure that will have you on the edge of your seat and leave you in awe of God's faithfulness. When you sign up to become a monthly partner today with a gift of any amount, Evangelist Bonnke will send you your personally autographed copy of Living a Life of Fire, this offer ends this week, so don't delay. Your gift to the ministry will also help us continue to bring millions to Christ in our open-air meetings in Africa. Reinhard Bonnke's story is life-changing. Every page will stir you as you read how God used one man to shake entire nations and bring millions to Christ. When you become a monthly ministry partner today, not only will we send you your signed copy of Living a Life of Fire, you will also be helping us continue to reach Africa and the world with the gospel. Call now. My friend, this really is an amazing opportunity. I hope you will avail yourself of it today. I mean, truly, the incentive is the opportunity to reach men and women for whom Jesus died with the gospel of Jesus Christ. But today, just as a way 
for us to say thank you to you for your commitment to stand with us as a monthly partner. I want to send you two things very special. We're only offering it for this broadcast, so I hope that you'll hope you'll take advantage of this opportunity. I want to send you a copy of Evangelist Bonke's autobiography, Living a Life of Fire, truly one of the best books that you'll ever read. And not only is it a great book, but he is going to personally sign it for you today. And then I'm going to also send you this DVD called Up Close and Personal, which contains not only Evangel Sponky, but his wife and a number of the team of the ministry that have been here for 30 years, 35 years and more. And they're telling their stories. It's incredibly compelling and powerful stuff. I want to make sure that we get this in your hands today. So please make sure that you call and take advantage of that order. Amen. Well, Evangelist Bonke, I can't miss this opportunity because you are a man who has probably spoken to more people face to face than anybody living and maybe anybody in history. And, and you've not stood in front of them as a politician or as a performer, but as a preacher of the gospel, yes. as a representative of Jesus Christ. And today there are people watching who may not know the gospel. I, I was in uh, the airport in Singapore and a girl picked me up and and she said, what do you do for a living? And I said, I'm, a, I'm an evangelist. She said, what does an evangelist do? I said, I preach the gospel. She said, what is the gospel? <laughs> I said, that's the perfect segue yes, for an evangelist. Yes. So if there's somebody who's wondering today, what is the gospel? Would you share it with them? Yeah, well, the gospel is the wonderful news that Jesus came to die for our sins and to save us from sin and Satan and from all the darkness of the world. And he has done such a glorious and wonderful salvation that uh, if anyone is willing to put their trust in Jesus and ask him to enter them as their savior, that he says they shall be saved. It's a matter of asking, it's a matter of receiving by faith, and you will become a child of God. And if you are not yet a child of God, you can become one right now. John chapter 1 verse 12 says, as many as received him, to them gave he the authority or the power to become the children of God, even as many as believe in his name. And if you want to receive Jesus as your savior, you can receive him right now and your life will be changed. Darkness will go, light will come, chains will break, fears will disappear, peace will flood your heart and your marriage and your family and, and everything. And uh, uh, if you want that, I would like to pray with you right now. Are you ready? If you want to receive Jesus now, pray with me. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. I call upon your name and I humble myself I'm asking you to forgive me my sins. Come into my heart. I receive you now as my savior. And I put my faith in you. I believe with my heart what I speak with my mouth. Jesus Christ is now my savior. In Jesus name, amen and amen. And my friend, if you've prayed that, the scripture says that you are a new creation in Christ Jesus. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. And we want to hear from you. There is contact information there on your screen. We want you to get plugged in with a local church to be discipled, become a follower of Jesus. And here we have prayer requests that have been sent in from literally around the world. Many of you have sent these in. And we're just going to pray right now over these and over you. And I believe that you are going to receive a touch from God in your body. Do this for me. If you need a physical healing, I just want you to stretch your hand out towards that screen as a, as a sign of faith, just a point of contact. I believe the Lord is going to flow to you and touch you. Father, in Jesus' name, Hallelujah. we release the power of God into Amen. each and every Push one of these people Lord. watching. Lord, I thank you for healing in yes. bodies right now. Amen. I rebuke pain and disease and sickness. I command cancerous spirits to leave you right now. Be healed of that cancer in the mighty name of Jesus. Be healed of arthritis in Jesus' name. 
be healed every tumor. I command you to dissolve and to dry up, to disappear. Amen. Lord, I thank you that, that you will heal those with Jesus. lung diseases and liver diseases and Lord, all kinds of internal organ problems. I say be healed right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, for those that need a miracle in their finances or in their family, in their marriage, Lord, I thank you that you release your power in their life right now. You. To you be all the praise and all the glory and all the honor in the mighty name of Jesus. And everybody Hallelujah. said, amen, amen, amen. amen. Pastor Bonke, thank you so much for yeah, joining me thank today. You, thank you, it, it, it's always such a joy to be with you. And thanks to all of you for joining me as well. Remember, if, if the Lord has touched you today, spoken to you, we want to hear about it. So use the information on your screen. Let us know what's happened in your life. And also let us know how we can continue to lift you up in our prayers. Now, don't go away. I want to share some exciting information with you about events that are coming up. And I hope that I see you very, very soon. Hey everybody, we have some really exciting events coming up in a city near you. I hope that you can join us there. Our next Crave meeting is coming up in Orlando on September 14th. These have been amazing events. People have been coming from all over the place and the presence of God is really extraordinary. You can find out more at cravejesus.net. Compassion to Action is taking place in Portland, Oregon this September on the 19th through the 22nd. Ron Harbonke is going to be there, Bill Johnson, Todd White, Marilyn Hickey, Lisa Bevere, and it's headed by my friend Chris Overstreet. I'll be speaking for the International Christian Embassy of Jerusalem at their Feast of Tabernacles celebration in Jerusalem, September 23 through 28. I'm looking forward to teaching for Fire School in Charlotte, North Carolina this October on the 9th and 10th. And then the Harvest Conference in Fort Mill, South Carolina with Rick Joyner is taking place October 11 and 13. Information about these and many more events is available on my website, danielcalenda.com slash events. I look forward to seeing you. You've been watching Christ for All Nations. To learn more about today's resources, submit a prayer request, or to share your testimony, go to our website at cfan.tv. You can also reach us via mail or phone with the contact information below. Join us next time on Christ for All Nations.